Hello everybody! In this video I will show you a modified version of the bowl-shaped Lapointe Magnet Array. So I have here three versions of it and each one is slightly different from each other. So here is the original that you might already know. I have 54 of these 5mm cube magnets arranged in this bowl-shaped pattern and as you can see in the center hole here there is no magnet. This is like the original design. And then I've modified it slightly and added a 10 mm disc magnet to the center. And in this case here, all of the cube magnets are facing with the south poles inside and the disc magnet is facing with the north pole inside. And in here I've already added a plastic liner inside, but here is also underneath a disc magnet that is facing with the south pole to the inside. So all of the magnets are facing south pole inside. And I will just show you the difference that this makes in the field of this array. And later on I will um, talk about the benefits of these arrays and what they can be used for. So let me start off with a magnetic viewing film. I will just show you the original version. This is the magnetic field overall. And then I will just continue and show you the center part of it. I know there are some reflections, but right on the corner you can probably see this white line and also a blank spot. Hopefully you can see this. This is where the zero point of the field is, where no magnetic flux is. This is with the original design. Then I have this one with the disc magnet on north pole facing inwards. And as you can see, the field the inner field shifts a bit towards the outside, but also it looks kind of similar with this blank spot in the center and this curved white line. And this separates the two polarities. So all around here we've got south pole and here on the inside we got north pole field. And now comes the interesting part. Here all of the magnets, also the inner disc magnet, is facing south pole inside. And if I go with the field viewer in here, you can see there is no line and also no blank spot. So it's all a uniform south pole field inside of here. This is what it looks like here. It looks kind of similar. And now I will show you with my Gauss meter, the field strength and how it differs. So let me start off with this. Here I have my probe. This black spot here is the probe itself. And if I go over here, you can see it is all south pole, as you can see here. Also, if I go to the inside, everywhere we have south pole. And if I go right down to the center here, you can see the field strength is not that strong. Compared to, if I take this one, where the disk magnet is of opposite direction, meaning north pole inside here. You can see all around here we have south pole. Then right here we have the zero point where we have zero magnetic flux. Then it switches to a north pole field on the inside here, which is very strong. And as you can see, we get readings of over 470 millitesla, which is impressive because the disc magnets itself don't have that strong of a field. So it kind of compresses the field on the inside here very much. But the difference it makes is that on the outside here, the overall field is not that strong. It's only very strong in here compared to this one, where we have a stronger field on the outside. And now I will show you some readings right at the center point here. So this is the original design and we have around 53 milliteslas on this point. And then with the modified design we get 59 millitesla. So the center magnet also facing south pole to the center amplifies the field on the outside kind of a bit. And also what I've measured is that the field extends uh, quite a bit further. And let me take this array with the north pole facing inside. 
it has a stronger field in here but on the outside as you can see we only get 46 millitesla so the overall field on the outside is weaker here it only compresses the field here and we get a stronger field in the inside so i figured this design with the um, all of the south poles facing the same direction or basically all of the poles facing the same direction is the yeah what i prefer because it creates a strong field here on the outside and now we get to the purpose of this arrays um, the, you might know these bowl shaped arrays are used in the primer cube and normally these arrays are rotated on a motor and you get a lot of health benefits from these arrays when you rotate them but i figured that the magnetic field itself already has some impacts on the body and healing aspects so the magnetic field itself is already rotating as you might know and you can rotate it to amplify these effects but just using these arrays like on yeah areas on your body where you have problems also has some effects and can have big impacts on your health and i also made a larger version of it so this one has eight millimeter cube magnets 59 pieces of it and in the center i use a two centimeter by one centimeter disc magnet and of course this results in a yeah, much larger and stronger field and can also be used and the design for this as you can see it's closed on the back is for free to download we will find you will find the link in the description and i will also sell this on my shop you can also find it in the description so just to let you know i prefer to use them with an inner liner because it's just more safe to use with the small ones here if they snap together it's not that bad so it's not that dangerous to say but with the big ones right here they are already really really strong and you should be careful using them because when they snap together like this yeah it hurts so i also made them with an inner liner just to protect everything and secure the magnets in place and yeah hopefully you can make use of this download it print it make it and tell me what you experience from using them and as i said the arrangement of the magnets should be all the same magnets facing the same direction meaning for example here these are all north poles also the center magnet is north pole when you assemble them, start um, with this disc magnet in the center first and then work yourself around from starting from the inner um, magnets to the outer ones. This is the easiest way to assemble them and take your time. And maybe if you've never assembled one of these, start with the small ones because they are easier. So that's it for this video. I hope this answered most of your questions. If you still have questions, you can of course ask. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.